Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Light Speed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Well, we're back together. People might be wondering, have they separated? <laughs> Are they divorcing? I don't no. think they were wondering that. Well, I was. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back together just to show you that we're still a valid couple. Yes. Okay. This week, we are going to talk about irregular verbs in Spanish. And we're going to go through some of these in the present tense. Pues, hablamos de todo en la segunda parte. Okay, so, we have a list of... Actually... You know, this is for beginners, but I think I'm going to talk in Spanish. You talk in Spanish I usually and talk, talk in, in Spanish English, in my yeah. videos. Yeah. Tenemos una lista de verbos irregulares, ¿vale? Hoy vamos a hacer la lista de verbos irregulares en presente, mm -hmm. ¿sí? Y luego en el futuro haremos la lista de verbos en pasado o futuro, otros tiempos verbales, ¿sí? Gordon, tú eres el experto en verbos irregulares en español okay. y Ajá. categorías de verbos irregulares en español. Ok. So I think the best way of coming out the, the irregular verbs, let's, let's talk about the goal verbs, the go go verbs first. The reason is there's a lot of verbs that take in first person, even though the verb is just a, no, looks like a normal verb, there's a GO appears, yeah? So, for example, we've got tener, tener, which is the, the yo, tengo, tengo. Then we've got hacer. So tener is to is to have, to have. hacer to do or to make, which is hago, hago. Then we've got venir to come, vengo, uh, poner to put, pongo. Then decir to say. Digo, 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 <laughs> digo yo. Eh, salir, salgo, which is to leave, salgo, and then traer, to bring. Traigo. Okay, so I don't know whether that's the definitive uh, list of the goal verbs, but they're very. It's not the definitive list for sure. Most popular. Pero los más usados. Estos son los verbos irregulares más. Usados, los 15 verbos más usados en español. Wow, okay. The interesting thing about goal verbs is that, although they're very regular in first person, after that, they're normally okay. Yeah. So, for example, if we look at tener, okay. right, well, that's not, that is irregular all the way through. However, we've got tengo, but then you have, what happens then? Tienes. Aha. Uh -huh. so, so, although there's an I appears in that one, It takes a normal structure. So you don't have the goal going all the way through. Exactly. Just on the first one. The same with uh, venir, to come. Vengo. Vienes. Viene. Yeah. Venimos, venís, vienen. So again, the I appears in. Uh, it's a bit of a theme, okay? So. No, in all of them. Not, all of them, them, not in all. Some of them are just irregular. Son irregulares en go, en la primera. Y después uh -huh. son regulares. Yeah. Y otros son irregulares en la primera y en el resto. And then beyond, like, like decir, so you've got digo, okay, and then... Dices. So the I stays in, so the E drops out and the I comes mm -hmm. in, yeah? So again, bit of a minefield with the goal verb, so you have to look at them carefully. But then let's move on to have a look at the, the, the verbs that take a Y in the first person as well. So we've got ser. This one is imprescindible you've got to learn ser so how does ser which is to be how does it conjugate yo soy with a y soy mm -hmm. and then well it's irregular in english as well i am you are <laughs> it's irregular in one of the very languages. few irregular english verbs <laughs> yo soy tú eres él es o ella es nosotros somos vosotros sois y ellos son. Mm. Okay, we've got a song about the conjugation. Sí, eh? eso it's, es, it's eso probably es. Probably the most seen <laughs> video that we've got. Okay, so so soy, soy, yeah, and it's interesting if you um, if you want to say uh, I am a weeping willow. 
How do you say it in Spanish? Soy un sauce llorón. Yeah. So when you see the bottle of soy sauce in England, Spanish people think it's saying, I'm a willow tree. <laughs> soy sauce. Ay, Dios okay. mío, los chistes británicos. No, no, you told me it sí, sí. years ago. Sí, oh, los, los chistes españoles. <laughs> okay, so then we've got estar, estar. which is the other, the other, the sister of so, uh, ser, to be. Eso yeah. Es. Again with a Y, how does that one go? Yo estoy, tú estás, él está, ella está. Nosotros estamos, vosotros estáis y ellos están. Okay, so regular, really, apart from this estoy and uh, uh, okay, a ser is, is pretty irregular all the way through. Um, and then we've got ir. Again, ir is a weird one. I are to go, but I go is boy. Boy. In fact, it doesn't resemble ir in any of the conjugations. How does that conjugate? Yo voy, tú vas, él va, ella va. Nosotros vamos, vosotros vais, y ellos van. Mm -hmm. And you'll be hearing Cynthia using vosotros. Uh, as one of the persons here in Spain, it's used very in, in a very big way. Please, if you're learning Spanish, don't think that you can get away without learning vosotros. Learn it; it's worth it because even if you're in Latin America, you're going to talk to Spanish people and you're going to hear them using vosotros. Okay, so if not, you can use the third person singular and plural for usted y ustedes. Ustedes, mm -hmm. yeah, the same person. But for I made that mistake. He, she, and usted is the same person, and they and ustedes is the same person. Sure. All it is, I, I, I was in Mexico and I said, and somebody said, we don't use vosotros here, don't bother learning. And I went, brilliant. Es, 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 es la lucha. That, that, that'll de... save me loads of time. It didn't, it <laughs> wasted loads of time for me because then I had to learn it later on. Mi español on. es mejor, ¿no? De, sí. No aprendas vosotros. Bueno, en mi opinión, eh, es, es bueno saberlo. Mm -hmm. Aunque no lo utilices todos los días, es bueno saberlo porque lo vas a oír. Exactly. Simplemente. Yeah. It's the same with, with the boss from uh, Argentina, claro. Uruguay, and all of that. It's worthwhile just becoming familiar with it because claro. you're going to hear it. Claro. Gonna... Exacto. Yeah. Okay. Vale. So, just quickly, we'll run through a, a few of the regular verbs. Poder. This is a verb you've got to have in your pocket. Poder, to be able, to can. Mm -hmm. To can. I know that doesn't exist, but that's how it, is, how it works. Can, yeah. To can. <laughs> can you? Can you can? Okay. Another regular verb in English as well. Yeah. Can. Can, exactly. Mm -hmm. So how does that Uche. conjugate? Poder? Yo puedo, tú puedes, él puede, nosotros podemos, vosotros podéis, y ellos pueden. Mm -hmm. So the U-E goes in there as well. Just a little tip. No matter how irregular the verb, typically in the nosotros and the vosotros, it isn't irregular. It goes mm -hmm. back to form, okay? goes back to the form. Not in every verb, but nearly, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, okay, and then we've got querer. Querer. To want. Yo quiero, or to love as well. Uh, also, yeah. Yo quiero, tú quieres, él quiere. Nosotros queremos, vosotros queréis, ellos quieren. Y yo te quiero. Eso es, muy bien. Mm -hmm. Y yo te quiero a ti. Eh, qué bien, me alegro. <gasps> ok, and then what about saber, to know? Saber. That's irregular, yeah. Yo sé. Mm. Tú sabes, él sabe. Nosotros sabemos, vosotros sabéis, ellos saben. Ok. So just one conjugation, first person is irregular. And then the last one, ver, to mm. see. Yo veo, tú ves, él ve, nosotros vemos, vosotros veis, ellos ven. And that verb appears in a very, very, very famous song, which goes, veo, veo, que ves, ves Eso es. una cosita. Y un tip. En español, la V se pronuncia como la B. La B. No es ven, ¿vale? Es ven. 
más similar a la B que la V. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do as we continue on, we're going to do some other videos taking these verbs into other tenses. Okay, and just helping you with Eso that. Es. Muy bien. Pues muchas gracias, Cindia. A ti, Gordon. Y gracias a vosotros. Muy bien. Y ahora... Ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós.